Hello everyone. Well, I want to start talking about temperatures because man, could we use a warm up? High temperatures in the 40s, like we saw yesterday, just not right for this time of year. The good news today is we're going to be warming up, just not as much as we'd like. Take a look at high temperatures we're expecting this afternoon. Close to the lake, it's possible for places like Hammond, Michigan City, we may only top out around 50 degrees. Now you go a little bit farther south and maybe as soon as Valparaiso, there will be an area of mid 50s. 55 for the high in Valparaiso, and you get in the Newton Jasper County, I think it's more likely that we'll reach the upper 50s. The problem is it's probably not going to feel this warm because it is going to get breezy this afternoon. Nothing crazy, but gusts around 20 miles per hour will probably take about 5 degrees off these temperatures. So feeling more like the mid 40s for Hammond, Michigan City, Valparaiso, more like the upper 40s, and even in Kentland, Rensselaer, probably only feeling like the low 50s with that breeze that's going to be around. Now tonight, temperatures aren't going to get crazy low. In fact, these are pretty reasonable for this time of year. Temperatures in the low, mid, or upper 40s, that's about where we should be this time of year. And the reason why, even though it's such a chilly day today that we're not getting colder tonight, is, well, the air mass is moderating, and there's going to be cloud cover around, so that prevents our temperatures from really bottoming out. Now, more improvement for Friday. This is a little bit better, right? Still a little bit below normal for this time of year, but we're talking about high temperatures. They're going to be in the low to mid 60s. It's still breezy. In fact, it might even be a little bit breezier than today. Gusts getting up around 25 miles per hour. But once you get temperatures in the 60s, the breeze doesn't matter quite so much. <laughs> the chill factor, a little bit more limited. All right, now we've got to talk about rain chances because, yes, rain is going to be around. But what I want to stress is that most of the day and tomorrow is going to be dry. But, yes, there's probably going to be periods where it's going to be interrupted by a little light shower. It is possible for 8 a.m. this morning for the morning commute, you might encounter a shower. Notice there are going to be gaps, though. It's not a guarantee, but I do want to mention some isolated showers that are around there uh, this morning. I do think around lunchtime that we're going to be completely dry. However, in the late afternoon, it's possible there could be a few showers around once again. But notice how most of the area is dry, so it's more likely that you're going to have a dry homebound commute, but can't completely rule out a very brief shower popping up, uh, but nothing that's going to slow you down for that homebound drive. Still a chance into the evening hours for some isolated showers, but still nothing big. We jump ahead to tomorrow morning. Notice how there's a little bit better chance of rain during the overnight hours, but then it dies down again. So 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, kind of the same story as this morning. Yes, there could be a few showers around, but actually there's a better chance that you're going to be dry than seeing a shower. Looks like tomorrow, like today, that lunchtime is going to be completely dry. But in the late afternoon, yes, the possibility for a few showers returns. But notice how during this whole period, there hasn't been a lot of green showing up. So most of the time it's going to be dry, but just know that, yeah, technically there's going to be a chance of rain lingering around. Friday evening plans still looking pretty good for right now. Eight o'clock, a couple showers, but more than likely you're going to be dry. But what I want to mention is if you're going to be out late Friday night, finally we have a good chance of rain. Scattered shower activity, and I'm not going to rule out a couple of thunderstorms late Friday night as well. No severe storms, but it's a possibility for late Friday night.